Mga kaugnayan, sa pagpapatuloy ng ating serye sa kwento ni Amy Calabio, ibabahagi naman niya ang hirap ng kanyang pinagdaanan nang siya ay makipaghiwalay sa dati niyang asawa at binuhay ang kanyang anak na mag-isa. Panoorin natin ito. I can't go out, you know, and then if I go out, I have to make sure I have my son with me. I can't just be down. I have to keep moving and moving and moving. Life must go on. My legs still perfectly can walk. My hands can still do stuff. You have to balance everything. Mm -hmm. Most likely you have to cry. And uh, when you face other people, just smile, you know. Deep inside, but you're struggling. But hey, what else you can do? You just have to face like, I will survive. Matapos makilala ni Amy ang kanyang kachat, nag-asawa siya dito sa Amerika at nagkaanak. Ngunit ito'y naglaho ng malaman niyang na-engage ang kanyang asawa sa isang Pilipina habang sila ay kasal pa. Ano, ano yung dahilan bakit kayo naghiwalay? O bakit hindi nag-work out? Trust. Most likely is a trust. Because like I can't go out, you know, and then if I go out, I have to make sure I have my son with me. Because I'm not allowed to go out because I'm a married person for, a, for his own opinion. So I guess the jealousy of him because I'm too young and I can't wear shorts. I wasn't married with my parents. I'm married with a husband to support me and learn no matter what happened, not just to control me what to do or what to wear. I was like, no. And I said, well, it took some, that was happened like two and a half years for our marriage. And I said, okay, I'm just gonna go, you know, give chances. And then, because I don't want to be a broken family because I have kids. Mm -hmm. and it's like, I don't know, my son grew up with a, with a broken family. So I said, okay, until like, it doesn't go well anymore because mm -hmm. it's getting worse and worse. I noticed also that he's like sneaking around with a computer because when we have the kids or when we have our kids, we can't um, sleep together because he don't want to be awake. Until suddenly, uh, one of my best friends in North Hollywood told me that my neighbor told me that she, she was engaged. Wait, is this the one in the Philippines? Yes, she was in the Philippines. Your husband is the one who's um, that he engaged to. Engaged to my neighbor. He was so mad at my best friend. And I said, I sleep in the other room, you're talking to a different woman. Why you just not wait until I'm I'm gone, you know? I'm a human, not just being a woman. I'm a human too, you know? You have kids, you told me that you love me, but you turn around and have different, you know, like have another woman that you engage. So like, what's the use being in the house if your husband tell your husband that you know already engaged with someone Filipino from the Philippines. I bring my son and like probably nine o'clock at night, put things in the luggage and move out. I said like no, being a single parent and then you don't have no one around here, that's not really easy. Mm -hmm. Because you have to start from the bottom. Who gonna take good care of your son while you go to work and then you can't afford everything because how much you only make. So, nagtatrabaho ka. That time na, so, hinihiwalay ka sa kanya, nagtatrabaho ka na mag-isa. Sino nag-aalaga sa anak mo? Some of our friends that, you know, I live with them. So, sometimes they, you know, they're the one who's like uh, watching them. But, not bracking too. I have to find another people to watch because they can also watch full time for me. At that time when it was happening, ano yung mga lumalaro sa isip mo? So, like, what if I'm just gonna look for a sugar daddy? To be honest, yes. He was like, why don't you find a sugar daddy, you know? I said like, hey, you got a be you have a beautiful face. I'm like, yeah, whatever. So I was like, why don't you try those? Or, you know, it's like be a dancer in the club. I said like, no, I can't. I have kids. I still have my dignity, you know? I'll go find a way that we, you know, we live through it, that we don't, we're, never, we're not gonna regret it, that I did that because of him. So I do it in the right way. So to find, you know, find the proper way, you know, instead of like the easy way. Even it's hard, I'll go, I'll get there. Abangan sa susunod na linggo, malalaman natin kung papaano tumayong muli si Aini at nakapagtagpo ng tunay na pag-ibig sa pangalawang pagkakataon. Para sa mga karagdagang kwento, mag-check out sa LATeen.tv. Ito po si Effie Barker, ang inyong kaugnayan. Valen, come! <laughs> He said, 
why don't you come and visit me since you've never been, you know, around other different states? And I said, no, I don't have no money. That's my question. That's my answer. <laughs> I don't have no money to buy a plane ticket. And he said, I will provide you. And I said, well, I have a kid. He said, well, I have my son. No one's going to watch my son. So bring your son. And I said, well, I can't afford a ticket for my son as well. And he said, no, I bring you both the tickets. And, okay, when we go there, make sure I have my coffee, Starbucks coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I said, make sure it's Starbucks coffee, okay? So it's like kind of a high class, high class there. It took like a year and a half before I gave you number. Tagal! Oh. How about ng hair? Oh, my hair. <laughs> what if the person is a rapist? You know, mm. I was like, oh, rapist. <laughs>